Welcome back to the channel. So yes, today we're gonna be making a world record. No, we will probably not make a world record. However, I'm looking to try and make something out of all these records. Now I've not seen a project done like this yet. Maybe there is, <laughs> I'm not too sure. But I've got all these records sat around in my loft and I got them all out and I thought to myself, I don't play these anymore. <laughs> They're not really worth anything. They're called 45s, I think. And there's loads of different colors in there as well, which I thought was kind of funkadelic. Derek. And quite fitting for a project. Know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also more importantly, if you haven't clicked the, the little bell icon in the top right hand corner, you won't know if I'm putting a video up. So if you wouldn't mind sticking that bell on, that would be much appreciated. And then YouTube will tell you that I'm here. Well, I hope you like this one, folks. Let's get stuck in. I'm using the clear plastic today just to add to the experience. Right folks, here we go. So we've made a nice little mold out of some clear acrylic. I've done it out of clear this time so you could see and watch the resin go in around the records. I thought it might be uh, interesting. So, let's see if the records fit in. Oh. Okay, so for this next procedure, we're gonna be using the Entropy Fast, because you want it done like yesterday. In goes hot chocolate. Right folks, in goes the resin. Okay, so it turns out we're gonna need a lot more resin than that. <laughs> and I can't put any more fast resin in there because, well, it's just too much. So I'm gonna have to leave this to set, then come back tomorrow, and then we'll have to put in some slow resin, and then I can fill that bad boy right up to the brim. Know what I'm saying? All right, that's all in there, snug in a bug, in a rug, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's actually looking pretty cool. See the green record underneath the black record? Uh, a bit of an odd effect going on there. Pretty cool. And you can see my reflection. Hello. <laughs> now, this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Now, Manscaped have just hooked me up again with a bunch of really cool stuff just for you. It's their all-in-one performance package. This time, they've included their new lawnmower 4.0. Check this out. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> it's almost as chiseled as me. I use this baby every day to trim up my beard and it's waterproof. So if I want to do it in the swimming pool, I can. Ha <laughs> ha, looking sharp, Zemedi. Well, that's what my mum says anyway. Not only this, all this. Look at the new charging station. <laughs> this is Manscaped's fourth generation mower 
and it still comes with its advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions. Now these just aren't any old LED lights. This shows you how much charge you got in the baby. Up to 90 minutes of use with just one charge. One thing I do really love about this bad boy, it's got a cheeky little travel lock on it. Tap it three times. Activation of the safety lock, which means you can't turn it on when it's on the plane. And nobody can steal it and shave themselves without you knowing. Tap it three more times and she unlocks. Don't forget the weed whacker. Manscaped really have you covered from head to toe. Because for a limited time, you're gonna get my wife front. They're not mine, they're theirs, but they could be yours. And your very own fanny pack. I forgot to mention these are actually anti-chafing chafers. Now all you gotta do to get all of this stuff is click the link in the description below. You'll also get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus the fanny pack and the anti chip and chafer briefs. Just don't forget to use my promo code Nick Zemedi on checkout. Remember Manscaped, always use the right tools for the right job. Okay, let's get this out of here. <laughs> There's our first record pour. I think it's all right. I don't think it leaked. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool in there. Oh, look what's happened. So the records have kind of like melted in there. That is so cool. So they've melted and gone all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> so funky. I love it. Right, let's get some more resin in there. <laughs> A few bubbles. Dad, you like bubbles, don't you, Dad? Yeah. It's been a few days, so let's, let's see what we got in here. Ready? <laughs> hey, it didn't leak, it didn't leak. Oh. Oh yes, look at this, look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm so chuffed that this mold didn't leak. Normally, I'm not so lucky with my molds. <laughs> but that actually turned out pretty well. Right, let's demold this and look at this in a bit more detail. So there's our records demolded, folks. <laughs> it does look pretty neat. I love the way that these ones down here have kind of all gone wavy, but the other ones didn't do that, which is strange. I was kind of hoping that the rest of them would do it, but it still looks pretty cool. So uh, let's get this on the lathe <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> Right folks, so this is what we've got so far. So I've just kind of got out of the danger zone from turning a, a square blank, <laughs> a record square blank. Um, and now I'm getting it to round. I can pop up the speed uh, and that obviously helps us as well. Bit of chip out going on, but that's fine. We'll get rid of that in a second. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool, pretty neat actually. Um, I like this. So uh, we keep on turning this to round and try and get it all nice and round everywhere. And then we will try to put a tenon in the back here so we can flip it over. I reckon we're gonna make a really cool record breaking. Mm -hmm. 
So I didn't know how these records were gonna turn, but I've just started to cut in to one here. You can just see, you can see it flipping up with the camera, hopefully when I'm turning it, but look at that actually. You can just see it there, how this is gonna look. I think this is gonna look really, really quite unique actually. Just cutting into that record there. So we need to try and get a little tenon on here so we can get this mounted onto the chuck. But that is looking, from what I can see, it's gonna look quite, quite fungadelic if I'm saying so myself. Now what I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. This is looking good, this is looking good. See look, we've got rid of all the chip out now. Um, because we'd be able to spin this a lot faster because we've got it round like a record. <laughs> yeah, enough with the jokes, Nick. Okay, so um, so what I've done is I've put a um, little tendon on the back there um, so we can get that into the chuck and then I'm gonna put a mortise in there so we can flip that over because I want this to be the top and this to be the bottom. So I like the warped records um, to be on the top and I think that's going to look quite neat. Oh yes baby, let's do this. some of Yorkshire's finest to this record. If we had a needle, we could play some of these records. <laughs> Jubbly. <laughs> Looking good. I really did think this project was going to be really cool. It just basically exploded uh, on me on the lathe. I mean, you can look at that. Look at look at the inside of that. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to make maybe a a small dish <laughs> from it, possibly, but folks. I am pretty devastated. Really wanted to make this such a cool project for you folks out there. Turning records I thought was a good idea. Turns out it's not such a good idea after all. Material must not be, not be very good for sticking resin to it. <laughs> Don't know, it's kind of cool. No, we will not be defeated. I am going to continue with this project and it will be epic. Trust me. One thing I can say is that we're definitely breaking records in here today.
<laughs> there we go. Just with a bit of sand and sealer and some Yorkshire. Right, check out this next step. Gonna stick some Sheila wax all over the place. Yeah. Here's the Sheila wax or Shella wax. Depends on where you come from. Know what I'm saying? Watch this baby pop out now with this all over it. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Shiny. Oh yes! Look at this folks. Now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm actually quite loving using this wood. Yeah, I think I need to do a few more wooden projects. Right, let's flip this baby over. We made it! <laughs> Finally, I actually did think at one point, a few points actually, <laughs> that this project was a complete failure and I was I was still gonna show you, but I was just gonna leave it. I was gonna leave it at that because I worked quite hard on trying to get it to that point and it just exploded. Don't try this at home. But there is the end result, I, I hope that you'll still love this project because I think that that does look pretty cool. And knowing that these are all little records in there. 45s, I think they call them. Now I know not a lot of you stick around for this end bit, so I will keep it short and sweet. I just want to say, uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please, if you could smash that subscribe button. And also more importantly is to hit the bell icon in the top right hand corner so that you get notified of my projects that I put up. I know recently I've been putting up a few kind of like shorts and stuff. It's YouTube's new kind of like way of getting some short clips up there. Um, I'm not too sure if you like those or not. I've got a few tips for you and bits and pieces. I don't have to put them up. I just thought it was kind of funny. That was all. But I really did enjoy actually making this piece with the wood in it. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a bit more kind of wooden projects. I have missed the wood projects. Uh, I do do quite a bit of resin stuff. I still use the resin, but I think what we do is we try and make it more wood and a little tinkle of resin. Know what I'm saying? Because I really did enjoy kind of like sanding it down, putting the sand and sealer on it, put a little couple of little grooves in here uh, with my emblem on there. I don't know, I just really enjoyed that and it sort of brought me back to kind of like what I used to do as well, a lot more wooden projects. So I think that is what you're going to be seeing a bit more of. 
So please stick around. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel. Really appreciate you coming over. Stick around. Please uh, look back at all the other old videos that I've got out there um, with all sorts of stuff going on in them. If you are not following me on Instagram, please check me out. And also lately I've been putting some more little clips up on TikTok. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying myself. And if you fancy kind of a bit of a laugh, check me out on TikTok as well. All the links for my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok stuff is down below. And also, if you're wondering where I get these emblems from, there's also a link down below for you as well. And if you're a member of Maker Central, you get a cheeky little discount off these. Well, thanks again, folks, for watching. I will love you and leave you. I hope you all have a fab weekend and everyone stays safe and well. Please check out my next video coming out next week. Uh, I think you'll like that one too. And please let me know in the comments if you fancy some more short clips, shorts they call them on YouTube, or not. If you're not interested in them, that's fine. I don't have to do them. I'll stick with TikTok. Know what I'm saying. Take care, folks. I'll see you for the next one.